construction is nearing completion on a large underground detector that measures mysterious ghost particles called neutrinos. Even though we've known about the existence of neutrinos for almost 100 years now, we've only done enough experiments to start learning about their properties in any detail right now. Up to now, it's the least understood particle in our world. That's why we need to study it. Neutrinos are so small they pass through nearly everything, making them hard to detect. Because this ghost-like property allows neutrinos to travel vast distances unhindered, they carry valuable information about where they came from, like the first instances of the Big Bang. But how do you detect these nearly undetectable particles? The solution for how do we measure these neutrinos is to build very, very big detectors. Not all neutrinos are the same, and the facility being built in China will help scientists understand what makes them different. So we try to measure neutrino mass differences by using this detector to know that which neutrino is heavier, which one is lighter. That will get scientists one step closer to pulling back the curtain on why neutrinos behave the way they do and unlocking the mysteries of the universe. China's detector is housed about 2,300 feet underneath a granite hill. It will go online next year and will study the neutrinos produced from collisions inside nuclear reactors. So it's a big sphere with some uh, liquid scintillator inside, and they instrument the surface of the sphere with these photon detectors. And what makes a Juno special is that there's a lot of these photons. They cover the entire sphere in a way that we have not done before in any kind of experiment. Two similar detectors are being built in Japan and the United States, which are set to go online around 2027 and 2031. Uh, we expect that uh, uh, in the future, we will have some unexpected uh, discoveries. We highly suspect that uh, neutrino may associate with uh, several non-existing puzzles in our universe.